Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome on back to Once Human. In this episode, we're going to take on the Securement Silo PHI. That is the second silo in the game. You want to be in your upper 20s, low 30s. And it's a great one to run for energy and star crom over and over so that you can upgrade your weapons and your gear that sounds like a good idea to you hit that like button subscribe to the old channel and let's get some here we are at the securement silo p h i that set it normal and this is a great place to get energy and stardust all right, because those are the two that I'm consistently running out of the most when it comes to like upgrading gear, upgrading weapons. So we're gonna run this bad boy. Of course, by ourselves, all of our lonesome. And it's a completely different layout and everything else than it was. The first side, because this one's got all these guys. Zombies with guns. Uh, there's going to be spawners all over this. Oh, now he's under the stairs. Now he's way over there. Jeez. I'm caught under the stairs. Oh, that. Dude. Grab our goodies. This is the never ending resource hustle. But this is also a really good spot for uh, farming uh, acid. All these guys drop it. So nice when they drop it. All kinds of goodies here. All right. Well, there's something down here, I'm sure of it. You guys see the dust on this? Go nuts! Oh, how my dust is already. Oh, let's have a cold beer. That's a little better. You know what? Let's mix it with some OJ because we're gonna try and see if we can get sick. Didn't do so hot. Let's see. Do I got regular beer? Yeah, I got one. There we go. That's the thing in this area. Um, I really noticed that the uh, the dust stuff constantly pushes onto your character. Um, seemingly person like it was faster than the other areas. And the next uh, gear level we can't get any of the um stuff for it until we beat this uh current boss okay this is what we need the version three pass to be able to get just like in the other one although the other silo i think we killed a guy to get it this one. eat lots and lots of acid oh damn which is good 
I like seeing the developers do stuff like that. You know, you want to do the exact same runs every single time. Ugh. You can jump up there if you want. Whoa, why isn't that? Oh, that's not good. Might be having a few bugs here and there. Okay. You got a couple of options at this point. Um, let's see. First, take a Molotov. Throw it up here. Gotta wait for that to burn off. See, look at my dust again. How far it's gone up. Ridiculous. Gear crate up here. There we go. Not too bad. So we got a couple of options, right? Over on the elevator is one set of boss. And over here, which is why we got that card, is the other boss. Before you go in here, I'd make sure you've eaten plenty. Let's see. Let's have a cold beer before this because you know it's gonna be nasty no health so we are <clears throat> making mistakes all right <laughs> in cooldown why did it yeah something's not right here you know what i'm saying seems things might be a little buggy you never know still in closed beta and the devs, I'm telling you, like, every other day there's updates on this thing, so. Don't work that time. All right. So, in here, it's not real difficult to take this boss down. I don't think... Oh no, this is, I'm wrong, this is the other one. Okay, well this one's not that bad either. It's just about positioning. So. Come on in here. Don't worry about getting any of the chests yet. First, we need to get all the spawners. And once you kill the last spawn, your the boss is going to come at you. So there's another one there, and there's one there, and that's all of them that I know of. And you can see up in the left corner, 
is how many you got left to kill. And the whole point of standing up here, part of it, is when the boss pops, you want to try and make it so he can't get us. Start throwing crap at us. See how he can't quite figure out how to get to us? Because he starts throwing shit. These chunko dudes. Hey, does it take kill you, dude? There it is. All right, now we just gotta clean up the rest of the riffraff. The explody guy's still around here, any? He? There he goes. Where am I getting? Hit? Oh, his uh, stuff. Now, uh, now they jump up here. I don't think there's a way up there unless you've got the super spring legs. Okay, you guys want to just keep coming up here for me. It's fine. It's funny. I don't know. It doesn't matter how many times I run this... Uh, How many times I run this? Oh, there's another one. Uh, I always forget this is the first one, and then the next one's even easier. But. All right, now we can start getting all the boxes. That guy just was chowing the whole time. He wasn't paying attention. Ooh, there's that other gear crate I was looking for. So, you know, not a, not a huge amount of stardust and energy. But over here is where you actually do that. So you got your treasure chest, right? So if you want more of the stardust and the uh, energy... You got to go G, which is elimination base or base reward. You see that? Almost a thousand energy, 11 stardust. Normally, you only get like two or three for those. So, then, yeah, I don't think I'm going to take that. The problem when you, when you start doubling up on those things is there's a weird bug that it will take out the guys you've got back at your base. All of the deviants you've picked up. Personally, I've got one that I'm working on. The only one I think that's really all that important. Um, well, there's two of them. You want to do the butterfly one, which is the wings, which is real good. And then um, the hopper one, which I showed you guys how to get. Because that one gives you super jump. And oh my god, you would not believe the amount of stuff. Especially the mystery hidden things. That are literally, you can't get to them because you have to have that. I mean, there's like three or four of them in each set, uh, each of the zones. I can think of two right off the bat here. In my head that I can think of. The, and there's the last one, I think. Where you just need those. And it's like I've cleared everything else. Done everything else. Yep. Alright. Let's go get that other one. Good. 
go. This is a really good one if you want to, uh, you know, you're like me, and it's like, well, there's not enough stuff, really. There's not enough the Stardust and the energy. You know, that seems to be the major short point I'm having here. I mean, there are things you can do that kind of help with it, but, it, you know, at a certain point, it, it stops working, so... It's all good. Okay, okay. That's right. <laughs> Prerequisite, uh, give you a little extra health for boss fights. That phone will ring in a sec once we run down here. Yep, there it is. Oh, and the cabinet is you. Okay. And thing to keep in mind is we've got one of those umbrella ladies that we've got to fight. That's the boss in this area. So you want to go 100% after it with your biggest weapon that has the most damage and the most rounds. Takes a sec. got to fight these guys if you don't want but I want going here and here we go again you want to do the elimination base so you get the most that you can this is okay um the other thing if you're like me and you're really needing to get more of those these two substances go after the um Triant boss, because you should have already beaten it by now. If you've got your stuff upgraded, he's so easy. I skate through him like he's nothing. All right, folks, there we go. We got about 1,800 energy, about 40 or so of the Stardust, which is, of course, incredibly vital because we need it to upgrade all our weapons and our gear, i.e. chest, pants, gloves, shoes. Anyways, folks. If this has been helpful to you, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps with the algorithm so that it'll put my videos in front of more faces. And that's what I'm trying to do. Help as many of you as I can. So keep your heads down, your weapons of doom up, and I'll see you again real damn soon.